I, I love the film Minority Report and I love the scene where like he sees that projection of his wife and it's so painful, right? Because she's no longer there and but it feels like she's in the room with him and I was really inspired by that with the idea of Loki seeing almost like a play of his life on a stage. Hey, super fans! We're here with Kate Heron, director and executive producer of Loki. Thanks for your time. No, thanks for having me. Hello. <laughs> so I've seen the first two episodes. Um, so much happens. It's incredible. Um, what were you aiming for specifically in the pilot in regard to the tone and establishing everything? So for me, I think our first episode, I always thought of it almost like a prologue to our show. I think it kind of it sets the table about like you know the Loki we're dealing with now, the Loki he could have been that we've all obviously seen grow and change across the MCU over the last 10 years. And I think that in terms of tone, the really key thing was that kind of managing that kind of drama and comedy within the show. But I think for me, it was always about heart and the central question really of, is anyone truly bad or truly good? And do we have room to change and grow? And I feel like, you know, Loki gets a glimpse of that in the prologue uh, episode. And I think that, yeah, we're going to take him on a very new journey with that. Loki has never really had that much screen time dedicated to him before. What was it like going into it? Like, were you, was there concerns? Like, yeah, how did you kind of approach that? And um, given how beloved of a character he is? I was just excited because I think, like, when you put together all his scenes across it, like, you know, he hasn't actually had that much screen time, like you said. And I think he's, you know, Tom has brought such charisma and wit to the character, but also pain and a real reality to him. You know, he is a character that's very hurt and broken. And I think that's something that people can get on board with is seeing him move past that and grow and see, oh, I do have space in my heart to, you know, reconcile with my brother. And I, I think seeing that across the MCU was really exciting. And I think really for me, I'm just thinking like, I think it was just really important to make sure that we were paying respect to what had come before, but also always kind of, you know, there has to be a reason that you go back into these stories. So yeah, I think it was kind of that tightrope of, cause I am a fan of Loki as well, like making sure that, you know, there's nod and respect to what's come before, but there's a reason we're going back to this character and taking him in the new direction and new stories. Yeah, you mentioned like reconciling with um, Thor and things like that. I guess it's kind of heartbreaking knowing that given this version of Loki, he can't do that. So there is this inbuilt, inbuilt kind of mourning, and yeah, it's it's very uh, it's very emotional from the from the start. Um, but I noticed that the dynamics between Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson is just brilliant, and there's this weird juxtaposition. How is it for you playing with with that? I think it was they had this amazing chemistry that we couldn't have necessarily predicted until we were like doing table reads and talking about the characters but I think what I loved in that first episode was that so for example it was really important for me that the first episode it didn't just feel like a clip show and I said like I felt like it'd be cool if rather than you know cutting full screen to these memories I wanted to have it like I, I love the film Minority Report and I love the scene where like he sees that projection of his wife and it's so painful right because she's no longer there and but it feels like she's in the room with him and I was really inspired by that with the idea of Loki seeing almost like a play of his life on a stage and kind of what you're saying, like he would see his brother, but, and he would almost be like a life-size version of him, but he wouldn't be able to reach out and touch him and talk to him because it's a memory and, you know, he can't go to that timeline. And I think that was really key. And just also within that and within the table, you know, the, the, just the reads with Owen and rehearsal and Tom was that it was very compelling to not only just watch Loki watch what we've watched, almost putting him in the role of the audience member, but also what is Mobius is, why is he doing this? <laughs> like, you know, mm. why is he showing him all these moments in Loki's life? Why does he need to understand how Loki works? And I think there was that, there's that really great line I love in the first episode. Um, he says basically, oh, people, well, I'm gonna abbreviate it slightly, but it's basically along the lines of Loki's like, you know, I'm a villain, I can't change. and. Mobius is like, well, that's not how I see it. And I think for me, that really cements their friendship and almost like this kind of respect between them after this kind of epic chess match they've just had across the first episode. Mm. So yeah, I think for me, Owen and Tom, it was always just about keeping it feeling compelling within the room because it was almost like filming like a play, really, <laughs> like with mm. both of them. And 
I think that was always really key. And it was actually very complicated to film. Like I, I ended up like, I had a, an edit on my computer of all like the scenes that we wanted to show. And I remember that I almost was like DJing scenes from my lap, like literally this laptop with like a speaker plugged in and I just play it for the cast. With, Cause you know, there's, as you saw, like there's moments where something plays and then they respond to it. And yeah, and I remember that Tom was like at one point, I think only you and I knew what was going on in that room and people probably thought we were crazy because you were like playing all these scenes and stuff. But yeah, but it worked. I mean, yeah, but I'm, I'm so happy in it. Yeah, they have amazing chemistry as actors and I'm excited for people to experience that. I can't wait to see where the other, or well, the rest of this, this season goes. Um, thank mm -hmm. you so much for your time and you've done an amazing job with Loki. So thank you from the fans. Right, thank you. Cheers. Thanks so much.